Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video we're going to be talking about the difference of two squares. We're going to be talking about a special type of multiplication problem involving binomials. When you multiply two binomials that only differ by their sign, this is called the difference of two squares. It's going to be a special formula that we can use to multiply these two binomials without having to use FOIL or another method. So this only works when you have two binomials that are exactly the same except for the sign. So for example, this is x plus 4 times x minus 4. Notice the only thing that differs is the plus and the minus sign. So just to give you a couple of other examples, um, we could have 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. So notice how they're exactly the same except for the plus and minus sign. You could also have y minus 4 times y plus 4. So again, as long as they're exactly the same except for that one has a plus sign and one has a minus sign, you can use a special rule. Before we talk about that special rule, we're just going to see what answer we would get if we were to use FOIL. Because that is always a method that you can use to multiply any two binomials. If you get stuck and you can't remember these special formulas, go back to the FOIL method. So the FOIL method is first, outer, inner, last. So first we're going to multiply our first terms, which is x times x, which is x squared. Then our outer terms, x times negative 4. Don't forget to take the sign in front. So that's minus 4x. Then our inner terms are 4 times x, which is plus 4x. And then our last terms, 4 times negative 4, which is negative 16. So you could write that as minus 16. So now if we combine our middle terms as we normally do with FOIL, we get x squared, and then this is the same as negative 4x plus 4x, which we know is 0. It's pretty much eliminated. And then we just have minus 16 left. So we end up with x squared minus 16. And just as a heads up, this will always happen. If you have the same exact binomial with different signs, the middle term will always be eliminated. It will always equal 0. So we end up with the first term squared and the last term squared. Okay, so that's exactly what the difference of two squares is. When you multiply the two binomials whose only difference is the sign between the two terms, you're going to square the first term, square the second term, and subtract the two. And that will give you your answer. So for example, the first term, if we use the same example, square the first term. So this is the first term, second term first term, second term. So if we square the first terms, x squared is x times x, which is x squared, and then square the second term. So the second term, just think of 4 and 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and it's always going to be a subtraction sign. Okay? So you could think of 4 times negative 4, and you'll still get negative 16, and that is perfectly fine. Okay, so that is the rule. If you can just remember, if they're exactly the same, except the signs that are different, square the first term, square the second term, subtract, that's the answer. It's a very easy formula to remember. Okay, and we call this expression, when you have x squared minus y squared, that expression is called the difference of two squares. And that's how we arrive at this particular formula for this particular binomial. But remember, it only works if the two expressions only differ by the sign in the middle. Everything else has to be exactly the same except for one is plus and one is minus. Okay? So great job with example one. We have one more example. Um, scroll down the screen for example number two if you're still confused. 